When people move in time to music, they are dancing. As they dance, they organize their body movements into rhythmic and visual patterns. These dance patterns may be formal, with structured steps and movements, or informal. People have always had the natural urge to move to music. They can dance to celebrate an event, or for entertainment and relaxation. Anybody can dance, no matter how young or old they are, or how physically fit. There are many different styles of dance. Here are a few you may know. Ballet Belly dancing Jazz dance Tap dance Ballroom dancing Tango To plan a dance is called choreography, done by a choreographer. Often this goes with music and fits into a certain style. The social origin of ballroom dance lies in the European court dances of the 17th and 18th centuries. Most ballroom dances were sequence dances. The way people moved was planned in set formation. These formations were usually lines or squares. Everyone moved at the same time and finished at the same time. After the invention of the waltz around 1800, another style of dancing developed. In the waltz and later dances, people danced in couples, but they did so separately. They did not dance in formation, but moved round the room as they pleased. Dance is also an important part of many religions. Around the world, there are many traditional dances. Some of them have been going for hundreds of years. We call them folkloric dances. Often, new dance styles arrive. Some dance as individuals, separately, as they please. Street dance is like that and encourages creativity of expression. The coming of popular music videos and streaming services like YouTube led to a kind of dancer previously seen in some stage shows a backup dancer or background dancer is a performer who dances with or behind the lead performers in a live musical act or in a music video.